What up guys, what is the Posse Game with a whole new video for you, and this is going to be a uh, little nail biter gameplay for you, and I won't really spoil it, so I hope you guys do enjoy the gameplay, enjoy watching it, I, you know, stressfully enjoy kind of playing it. I'm not going to lie, it's not the greatest game you walk out of this game, but it is a nail biter, and it comes down to the end, and me and Hydrace Bro make some pretty clutch plays, and uh, something else I want to mention, I do not actually get all my streaks in this video, I hit the hell from missile twice, but this really shows how important gun skill is rather than kill streaks in my opinion. So uh enjoy the commentary or enjoy the video game and let's jump into it. So one thing I want to talk about right off the rip here guys that I want to change my YouTube channel name to Pause H D. Now I want to change the Pause H D, you know, it's just because um I don't want to change the FSG pause because that's just, you know, FSG is a clan. And if I put FSG in my name and let's say one day I decide to Leave FSG or something would have happened like she just kind of fell fell apart. I don't want my name to always remain as FSG like some KSI YouTube groups are. Like their names still are KSI even though they're not in KSI no more. Uh, same kind of idea. Now, uh, so that'll be a name change, and I'll make sure you guys do realize this. I'm going to probably say this in about two or three more two more videos actually. One more video before I fully make the name change. That way, I'll be out there. You guys will know that I changed my name. And it won't be any confusion. And it's almost kind of hard for me to my name know that No Way Out 6 at 8 has been my YouTube name since, God, you know, 2009, I think. So, and it's going to be kind of weird. But, nonetheless, so what I'm going to talk about today, guys, is pretty much, uh, you know, how friends and etc. helped me through some pretty rough times that, you know, happened to me during, you know, my middle, not well, my high school years, you know, more directly in my sophomore years, and these are actually about my Xbox friends. I, of course, I have real friends, real life, real life friends, obviously, but everybody I know on Xbox, not everybody, but the top five people I know on Xbox that I consider my true friends, I have them all on Facebook. We have contact with each other other than, you know, we have Skype, Facebook, and Xbox. You know, Xbox one do so much. And we have, you know, cell numbers and all that. Now, uh, during my sophomore year in high school, I was having a little bit of a mental breakdown. I was kind of depressed a lot. You know, I was just not very happy. And this was a bad part because this was right during the swing of my competitive career, you know. Uh, I, I think this was a month before the big Search and Destroy tour with the GOK, and I felt like I was uh, just not myself. I felt really upset, and if we were losing a GB or a scrim, uh, S&D obviously, because most of all play plays S&D, but uh, I would put myself at the blame, and I would be you know second on the leaderboard, because I was always the plant guy. And all that stuff, and I hardly ever went negative. And if I did, I most time went even. When I was time, but all the time, likes are negative with me going even. Uh, but I just felt like I was letting the team down, you know. And that almost led to me getting getting dropped because I ended up costing the games doing stupid things that I would never normally do, you know. And it was costing us GB points and all this stuff and. You know, that's not something you want to do to the team. You don't want to bring them down. You want to help them get to where they want to be. And, you know, this is all reflecting just my all around attitude at the time. I was just not having a good time in the school, you know. I mean, I was pretty sociable. I was on the football team. I did track and field. I, I just wasn't feeling myself, you know. Uh, I guess... I wasn't really a socially awkward person, although I was rather shy, but I wasn't really socially awkward. Um, I felt like that no one really wanted me around because I, I screwed up too much. And that, that obviously was not, not the uh, case that I soon found out, but at that time, that's what I felt like. I kept having that problem, and this guy should have killed me, and that guy should have killed me. Uh, so was that, was that going to be a double turn on? I don't know. But anyways... I just felt like I was just not meant to be around people, and I should probably just, you know, be in a hole somewhere, just not around people. Because I felt like I made other people stressed out or very upset with me all the time. But, you know, uh, I think I one day, I just, you know, Toby and Anime, 
were in a party, and this was like legit. This was 100% truth, and they were in a party one day, and it was like, I think it was like over the weekend or whatever, and I just totally asked Toby, and, I said, and then I was like, what would you guys do if I just went here the next day? Like, would you would you care at all? And at first I thought, you know, I was joking, like I wasn't being serious, and then, you know, they're like, you're, you're joking, right? And I was like, no, I'm just kind of being serious, and Toby kind of sounded like, you know, like, the silence in the chat was very, you know, it was like three to four seconds, just, just that kind of, not awkward, but it was that serious, like, I don't know how to describe it, it was just a very intense moment, and Toby said, are you alright, is there something, something wrong, because I never, I never really said stuff like that before, I, I was always trying to keep a positive attitude, and you know, even though people in GOK and the clan knew what was going on with me, uh, not on a personal level, but knew like I was having some having some problems, I wouldn't quite myself. These guys didn't, because I felt like I was a little more attached to these guys. So I, before I met GOK, I known all these guys, and uh, I met some GOK members through Toby, and I met one of them through uh, an older friend of mine. But you know, he said, "Yeah, I'll be pretty upset." You were here tomorrow, like, if you were gone for good, I'd, I'd be pretty, you know, upset, and I would feel like it, it's not right, and I, and I said, so, I'm not, I'm not, like, you know, making you guys feel like I shouldn't be around or anything, right, and, and they were like, no, man, why do you think that, you're a cool dude, and all that, and I guess at that point, I, I started coming around a little bit, that, you know, maybe I wasn't as bad as I led myself to believe, and, uh, Toby, who I consider, you guys know he's in the one of my videos, I consider him, like, a, a really great friend, and I never really physically met him before, but he's just, he's just someone you want to have as a friend. He's very open-minded, but very smart at the same time. He knows, you know, when something's right and something's wrong, because that's where a kid is age, very mature and raised by a very high standard of a moral living, and he's definitely a friend you want to keep around, and anime same deal uh you know born people on the on the gospel and he uh, understands what life is worth living and who deserves to live and you know i'm just gonna put it out there you know suicide wasn't on my top agenda at that time but i feel like that just you know went away and just just left everybody alone people wouldn't notice or people wouldn't care and they told me that it just simply wasn't true, that they would, you know, miss me in a way, and they would, they liked me around, because I was fun to hang out, fun to talk to, and uh, I started finally asking people, you know, in real life, I asked some of my uh, closer friends, Ryan, uh, Ryan, 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 that's really hilarious, I know they're not brothers, but I knew Brian that year, he was a freshman, and Ryan I knew since uh, middle school, we went through sixth grade, well, not really, because I moved Oh, and he came back to my high school, but we pretty much went sixth grade, eighth grade, and all the way up till now, uh, we're graduating in the same class, you know, and Ryan, me and Ryan have all sorts of friends, you know, and he was, he was kind of shocked that I would say something like that, because on the outside, I was, like, chill, but through my words and my actions, sometimes you could see it. But when I got home, you would definitely tell, but I would lock myself away in my room. And it, it just wouldn't well, no help anything either. And then I went to my friend Sam, uh, who I know for a while, a long time really. And Sam, you know, doesn't really take a lot of things seriously, not that he doesn't care, but, uh, you know, it's just this is his mentality. He's like, nah, I don't know, dude. But, you know, if it wasn't for me just putting it out there and be like, yo, if I was just not here tomorrow, would you, would you care? And people will start telling me, you know, yeah, man, I would feel terrible if you weren't here, you know, and if they're like how they would feel terrible, like, I couldn't live on without you, but, you know, if they would feel bad that I wasn't around anymore, or something would be kind of missing, and once I got getting more of those reactions, I stopped asking that question, because I didn't want them to think I was going to be in attention for or whatever, and I just finally said, you know, I... I don't see why, after all this time, I was thinking that this was fact. And I ended up pulling myself out of it. Ended up getting better as a person. And, you know, now me, Toby, anime, hydration, just 
great friends now. So guys, my screen gets dark. But so guys, if you did enjoy this commentary and you want to hear other, you know, this kind of life stories, let me know in the comments section below or like this video. Pretty tight game. Hydra's going with that clutch dog at the very end there. And yeah, guys, it's your boy FC Paul. I'll see you with Pack Nation. Peace.